it's Mariah, the Dairy State Vegan. I don't know if my head's cut off because I'm just holding this up with my arm here. So if I look a little funky, sorry about that. Today is moving day. So we are moving all of our stuff into the new house and I thought what a great opportunity to make a video. You know, move boxes, make videos. So what I'm gonna show you today is what I eat throughout the course of the day on the go. I feel like a lot of people are worried about becoming vegan. That it'll be hard when they're busy or out at restaurants or whatever. So today is going to be a vegan on the go day. Um, you know, I still try and keep it as healthy as possible while I'm trying to conceive. Um, but we'll see what happens today because it's moving day and anything could happen. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to get some good healthy breakfast for us so that we make sure that we, um, just have a good at least start to the day to need all this energy so we're gonna do that first and then we'll see where the day takes us y'all so keep watching if you're into watching vegan on the go what I eat in today videos make sure if you like this video to like comment and subscribe and let's get our day rolling y'all so for breakfast one of my favorite places to go is our local co-op this co-op has a cafe that is a vegetarian and vegan only cafe. So it's a good place to go get a really healthy breakfast and a really tasty breakfast. And while I was waiting on the cafe to make my order, I wandered around and looked at all the beautiful organic produce they have and just looked through the store. The River West Co-op is really a gem in Milwaukee. And if you've ever been to Milwaukee and you haven't been here, come and shop for all your vegan essentials, but also check out the cafe. Their food is seriously so so delicious the river west cafe is actually how i got my husband to appreciate tofu so for my meal i ordered a tofu scramble with steamed veggies breakfast potatoes and toast and cody of course got the giant vegan chocolate chip pancake he's nine he's fine now throughout the day he eats plenty of fruits and veggies but this pancake is his favorite and when we come to the co-op he always gets it And that is actually grade A maple syrup that they serve in their cafe. It's so good. Then for my husband, I got him an order of the bibimbap with tofu to go. He loves this breakfast. It's his absolute favorite. It is vegan kimchi, brown rice, fresh veggies, and it just is super filling for him. I also didn't eat all my toast, so I gave him my slices. Then we came to the new house and unloaded some boxes and I had made sure to put some snacks in here. So I pulled out some pineapple because you all know I need the pineapple for that thick uterine wall. And I just snacked on some pineapple in between moving. And for lunch, I ended up at Subway. So I got a veggie chopped salad with all the vegetables in it, just oil and vinegar. And then I added the chia seeds for extra fiber, protein and fat and also hemp seeds for extra protein and fats and all the omegas. I had Cody be my videographer here, so the quality is not great, but it's fine, you get the point. So after I added the hemp seeds and the chia seeds, I also um, opened up some watermelon and snacked on some watermelon with the salad. So it was a vi very satisfying lunch. Sorry about that hiccup. I don't know where it came from. So this was a super fast lunch, just running through Subway. Even at Subway, you can find something nutritious and healthy. And I just added a little extra for myself to up the calorie content. And then y'all check out my walls. My friend came over and painted for us and it's so much prettier in the screen than the brown you saw in the last picture. And then we were exhausted, so we went to the best, most vegan friendly fast food restaurant of all time. If you've been vegan for a while, you know what I'm talking about. It's the Taco Bell. Now, is this the healthiest option? Absolutely not, but it was good. So I just got a crunch wrap with black beans and fresco style and a taco with black beans and fresco style. It was really filling, it was really good, and it was definitely needed after a day of this. This room doesn't look so crazy, but wait till we get to my kitchen. You can see all the boxes we moved. So we still aren't fully into the new house, we're still working on it, but I just wanted to show you guys this video and show you even when you're having a super crazy busy moving day, you can still eat vegan and mostly healthy throughout the course of the day. 
You don't have to opt for McDonald's and non-vegan options. Vegan is easier than ever, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.